So people are asking me, I've had two shots of the COVID vaccine. Do I really need to go out and get a booster? Let's get into it. Welcome to The Feed with Dr. G. So you did your part, you followed the expert advice, and you got fully vaccinated. Now all of a sudden it feels like they changed the rules on you. Experts are saying that fully vaccinated is not two shots anymore, it's two shots plus a booster. So why the change? Well, it's kind of a perfect storm of two things happening at the same time. The first thing is that after you get a vaccine shot, within a couple of weeks, you get a really high level of antibodies against the virus, which is great. But over time, those antibodies start to drop, which means the protection level also starts to drop. The second thing is that the virus has mutated. First, we had the OG virus, then the alpha, then the delta, and two shots were still excellent for all of those. But now we have Omicron, and this latest variant of the virus is a different animal. And there's some bad news there, but there's also some good news. The bad news about Omicron is that because of its mutations, the antibodies from the vaccine just aren't as effective against it. But the good news is that if you have enough of them around, they'll still be enough to protect you. And that's where the third shot comes in. When you get that third shot, those antibody levels get boosted back up, which is why they call it a booster. And what the studies show us is that when Omicron hits people with two shots, even within a couple of months of their second shot, they have a much higher chance of getting infected with it and an even higher chance of getting really sick from it compared to prior variants. What do those numbers look like? Well, countries around the world have reported that within a few months of getting the second shot of an mRNA vaccine, the effectiveness of the vaccine to prevent symptomatic infection with Omicron, in other words, prevents you from getting sick, drops to less than 40%. But if you then get a booster, that protection comes back up to as high as 75% within a couple of weeks. But the most important reason to get a booster is protection from severe disease, like ending up in hospital with COVID-19, which is what you really don't want. Protection from getting hospitalized from Omicron was down to under 60% about six months after two doses, but came right back up to 90% protection after getting that booster. That's the level of protection you want. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the vaccine isn't perfect. You can get your booster shot, but you can still get Omicron. Think of it like a seatbelt. A seatbelt isn't perfect either. You can wear your seatbelt, but you can still get hurt in a car accident. The point isn't that you can't get hurt, it's that you're much less likely to get hurt. And it's the same deal with the booster. So the bottom line is, if you've gone out and gotten your two shots, great. You gave yourself really good protection from prior variants. But now the game has changed, we have Omicron. And whether it's the original Omicron or the newer BA2 subvariant of Omicron, you've got some protection, but what you really need to get yourself back up to that high level of protection is a booster shot. Just think of it as a way of cashing in on those first two shots you've already invested in. And I get it, people are mad. They're saying you told us we'd be safe after getting our two shots and now you're changing it. And yeah, we are changing it, but that's because the virus changed. We don't control that. The virus keeps adapting and we have to adapt with it. And does this mean you'll need boosters for the rest of your life? Honestly, nobody knows the answer to that question. Mostly it depends on how the virus mutates over time and that's hard to predict. And that uncertainty is frustrating for me too, but I'm not gonna let it get in the way of what I know today, which is that for the virus we have now, a booster protects me really well. So three shots is the new two shots. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you go out and get your third shot and tell your friends to do it too. For more health and science videos, like it, subscribe to the feed, and I'll see you next time.